You're planning out your school year or entire high school career and need to know which AP classes you should take. Yes, balance is good, but so is challenging yourself. And if you're applying to competitive colleges, you need to know what to expect when taking particular AP classes. So what are the hardest AP classes? Don't worry, I got your back. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Patel, the founder of Transition, and we've helped thousands of students with high school planning. I'm looking forward to helping you. In this video, I'll list every AP course, discuss the hardest courses one by one, and tell you what makes them so difficult. Let's get into it. Of course, AP classes aren't easy. They're designed to give you a preview of rigorous college coursework. Keep in mind that my intention is not to scare you away from AP classes, but to ensure that you can make an informed decision about which AP classes to take. The College Board currently offers 38 AP classes. I'm going to list them all right now. Deep breath. Research, seminar, art history, music theory, studio art 2D design, studio art 3D design, studio art drawing, English language and composition, English literature and composition, comparative government and politics, European history, human geography, macroeconomics, microeconomics, psychology, US government and politics, US history, world history, calculus AB, calculus BC, computer science A, computer science principles, statistics, biology, chemistry, environmental science, physics C, electricity and magnetism, physics C, mechanics, physics 1, algebra based, physics 2, algebra based, Chinese language and culture, French language and culture, German language and culture, Italian language and culture, Japanese language and culture, Latin, Spanish language and culture, Spanish literature and culture. Whew, glad that's done. To find out what AP classes are available at your high school, visit your school website or consult your guidance counselor. Okay, so which AP classes are the most challenging? First, it's important to note that challenging is a subjective term. Try to select AP subject in which you have some background knowledge, experience, or skill in. You should also consider your future college major. For example, if you want to major in psychology, it would certainly make sense to take AP psychology. And of course, doing well in the course and on the exam would look great on your college applications. But to objectively rank the most challenging AP classes, we considered the AP exam pass rates. Based on pass rates, here are the seven most challenging AP courses from lowest pass rate to highest. AP Physics 1 has a 41.9% pass rate. Human Geography has a 48.9% pass rate. U.S. Government and Politics has a 49.3% pass rate. Environmental Science has a 49.4% pass rate. U.S. History has a 50.9% pass rate. AP Chemistry, 52.4%. English Literature and Composition, 52.6%. Now we'll take a closer look at each of these challenging AP courses. Let's start with AP Physics 1. In this introductory college-level physics course, students learn through inquiry-based investigations while exploring topics such as kinematics, dynamics, circular motion, and gravitation, momentum, energy, torque and rotational motion, electric charge and electric force, mechanical waves and sound, and more. Not my cup of tea. Here are some related career areas. Agricultural and food scientists, architects, computer scientists, conservation scientists, electronics technicians, forensic scientists, graphic designers, mathematicians, meteorologists, pharmacists, statisticians, and technical writers. Here are related majors. Architecture, astronomy, chemistry, computer science, environmental science, marine bio, and mathematics. Here's what to expect in that course. AP Physics 1 focuses on introductory college-level physics topics and the seven science practices outlined in the course framework. This course requires that 25% of instructional time is devoted to hands-on laboratory work. So be prepared to design and conduct experiments, analyze data, and write lab reports. You'll also be introduced to the methods of error analysis, including mean, standard deviation, percentage error, propagation of error, and linear regression. And this is why it's challenging. Physics is a broad subject that spans many concepts and skills. The course combines principles of physics and scientific inquiry with extensive algebra, which is difficult for many students. You're also expected to complete college-level laboratory investigations and reports. The exam. The AP Physics 1 exam is three hours long and is evenly divided into two sections, multiple choice and free response. According to the College Board, students are assessed on the ability to 
provide explanations of physical phenomena grounded in physics principles and theories, solve mathematical problems, develop and interpret conceptual models, design and describe experiments, analyze data, and draw conclusions based on the evidence. The free response section consists of three different types of questions. Experimental design, qualitative and quantitative translation, short answer questions, one of which requires a paragraph length argument. All right, the next subject, AP Human Geography. In AP Human Geography, students study the distribution, processes, and effects of the human population on the planet. The course also covers analysis of maps, geographic models, data sets, GPS, satellite, and aerial photographs. Here are some related career areas. Anthropologist, archeologist, archivists, curators, drafters, museum technicians, foreign service officers, geographers, government lawyers, historians, judges, librarians, political scientists, sociologists, and urban and regional planners. Here are related majors. African American Studies, Anthropology, City, Community, and Regional Planning, Geography, Geology, Linguistics, Mass Communications, Sociology, and Urban Studies. Here's what to expect in the class. You'll need to understand and use geographic terminology, interpret graphs and maps, and read college-level texts. It's quite dense. The course also involves substantial writing, including summaries, analyses, evaluations, interpretations, short answers, and multi-paragraph essays. Here's why it's challenging. AP Human Geo incorporates a variety of skills and knowledge, world geography, world history, earth science, economics, basic mathematics, research, and the integration of data, graphs, and maps. Students are also expected to read and write high-level texts regularly, and the course is rich in content-specific vocabulary. Remember, the content is dense. Here's more about the exam. The AP Human Geography exam is two hours and 15 minutes long. Students have one hour to complete the multiple choice section and 75 minutes for the free response section. Some questions are vocabulary based, while others require students to apply models or concepts to a provided scenario. Many questions are based on tables, maps, diagrams, and photographs. The free response section requires students to answer three questions. The questions may ask test takers to analyze and evaluate geographic concepts, cite and explain geographic processes, synthesize various topics from the course outline, or demonstrate an understanding of models. On to our next subject, AP United States Government and Politics. AP US Government and Politics covers subjects including the constitutional underpinnings of the United States government, the nation's political beliefs and behaviors, political parties, interest groups, mass media, public policy, and civil rights and civil liberties. All of these subjects are of the utmost importance, especially today. Here are some related career areas. Curators, economists, financial analysts, geographers, government executives and legislators, government lawyers, historians, judges, librarians, news analysts, reporters, and correspondents, political scientists, public interest lawyers, and sociologists. Hopefully all of our politicians took this course as well. Here are some related majors. American Studies, Economics, Environmental Studies, Geography, History, Journalism, Mass Communications, Philosophy, Political Science and Government, Free Law Studies, Public Administration, Public Policy Analysis, Social Work, and Sociology. Here's what to expect in the course. You'll be expected to explain patterns of political processes and behavior. You'll also need to describe and compare concepts and theories related to U.S. government and politics, interpret data, and critically analyze and apply relevant theories and concepts. You will work from a college-level textbook and be expected to write evidence-based arguments. Here's why this course is challenging. It requires students to become familiar with the beliefs, ideas, institutions, and groups that constitute the U.S. government. You'll explore advanced theoretical perspectives and apply them. Plus, you'll have to use higher level thinking skills, such as interpreting cause and effect relationships, analyzing data, evaluating various theories, and writing evidence-based arguments. Here's more about the exam. Students have 45 minutes to answer 60 multiple choice questions and an hour and 40 minutes to respond to four free response questions. Typically, the free response questions require students to analyze political relationships and evaluate policy changes using examples from the course to support their arguments. Next subject, AP Environmental Science. AP Environmental Science explores earth systems and resources, the living world, population, land and water use, energy resources and consumption, pollution, and global change. Students analyze environmental problems and investigate alternative solutions to resolve or prevent them. 
It's an important course. Here are related career areas. Agricultural and food scientist, biomedical scientist, biomedical engineers, chemical engineers, conservation scientist, economist, environmental engineers, foresters and forestry technicians, geoscientists, landscape architects, meteorologists, park rangers, veterinarians, and wildlife technicians. Here are some related majors. Botany, chemical engineering, chemistry, ecology, environmental science, environmental studies, fishing and fisheries, forestry, geography, geology, marine biology, marine sciences, natural resources, natural resources and conservation, zoology. Here's what to expect in the course. Like other AP science courses, AP Environmental Science has a major lab component. Teachers are required to provide students with opportunities to investigate air, water, and soil qualities. As such, students should perform as many labs and field investigations as possible. It's recommended that students have a background in life science, physical science, and earth science. Quantitative analysis is required, so it's also helpful to have taken at least one year of algebra. Here's why the course is challenging. The interdisciplinary nature of environmental science can make it extremely challenging. The course incorporates topics from geology, biology, chemistry, geography, environmental studies, mathematics, and more. Some students also struggle with designing experiments, using tools and instruments appropriately, and analyzing data. Communication skills are a must as well, since students must write and speak effectively about their observations and conclusions. The exam. The three-hour environmental science exam consists of 100 multiple choice questions and four free response items. Time is evenly divided between the two sections. The multiple choice questions appear in sets and are often based on data, charts, and graphs. The free response questions include a data set, a document-based question, and two synthesis and evaluation questions. On to the next subject. AP United States History. AP US History, commonly called APUSH, spans nine historical periods from approximately 1491 to the present. That's a lot of time. Students explore the events, individuals, developments, and processes that shaped each of these periods. The course is based around seven key themes. American and national identity, migration and settlement, politics and power, work, exchange and technology, America in the world, geography and the environment, and culture and society. Here are related career areas. Anthropologist, archeologist, archivist, clinical psychologist, curators, economists, federal agents, geographers, government lawyers, historians, judges, librarians, political scientists, post-secondary teachers, public interest advocates, lawyers, sociologists, top executives, and of course, writers. Here are related majors, African American Studies, American Studies, Economics, Geography, History, International Relations, Mass Communications, Political Science and Government, Pre-Law Studies, Public Policy Analysis, Religious Studies, Sociology, and of course, Urban Studies. Here's what to expect in the course. You'll use the same skills and methods used by historians, which include analyzing primary and secondary sources, making historical comparisons, developing historical arguments, and reasoning about contextualization causes and changes over time. You will read a college-level textbook and write evidence-based historical arguments. And this is why it's challenging. As mentioned before, the course covers the history of the United States from 1491 to the present. That's a lot of information to learn, and the course is about more than memorization. You'll also need to analyze historical cause and effect and write analyses and arguments. So there's a lot of reading and writing involved. Students also tend to struggle with a dreaded document-based question, otherwise known as a DBQ. It's a type of essay in which students construct an analysis based on both provided sources and prior knowledge. Here's more about the exam. The AP US exam lasts for three hours and 15 minutes. There are 55 multiple choice questions that must be answered in 55 minutes, three short answer questions that must be answered in 40 minutes, a DBQ for which you'll have 60 minutes, and a long essay for which you'll have 40 minutes. Many questions require an analysis of primary and secondary texts, images, graphs, and maps. All right, the next subject, AP Chemistry. AP Chem investigates topics such as intermolecular forces and bonding, atomic structure, chemical reactions, kinetics, thermodynamics, and equilibrium. Students must use the principles of scientific inquiry to conduct a wide variety of laboratory experiments. These are related career areas. Aerospace engineers, agricultural engineers, 
biological scientists, biomedical engineers, chemical engineers, chemists and material scientists, conservation scientists, dietitians and nutritionists, food service managers, general practitioners, licensed practical nurses, medical scientists, registered nurses, psychologists, and veterinarians. Here are related majors. Astronomy, biochemistry, biology, chemical engineering, chemistry, computer software engineering, environmental engineering, food science, forensic chemistry, genetics, geology, nuclear engineering, nursing, nutrition sciences, pharmaceutical sciences, pre-physical therapy, pre-medicine, pre-dentistry, public health, and zoology. Here's what to expect in the course. Expect to learn a lot of vocabulary, apply moderately advanced mathematics, and complete many labs. Here's a key point. 25% of instructional time in AP Chemistry must engage students in laboratory investigations with a minimum of 16 hands-on labs, at least six of which are inquiry-based. Typically, students are required to keep a lab notebook throughout the course. And this is why it's challenging. Chemistry is a math intensive course and students should have completed at least Algebra 2 before signing up for AP Chemistry. Students must also develop their own scientific questions, independently design labs, collect and evaluate data, and construct arguments. Here's more about the exam. Students have three hours and 15 minutes to complete the AP Chemistry exam. One hour and 30 minutes are devoted to answering 60 multiple choice questions. No calculator is allowed for these questions, which consist of both discrete items and items in set. With the remaining one hour and 45 minutes, students answer seven free response questions. Four of these questions are short response, while the other three are dubbed long answer questions. These questions evaluate skills such as experimental design, analysis of lab data, creating or analyzing atomic and molecular views to explain observations, and following logical and analytical pathways to solve chemistry problems. On to the next subject, AP Literature and Composition. The AP Literature and Composition course is focused on reading, analyzing, and writing about fiction, poetry, and drama from various periods. Students must consider structure, style, themes, figurative language, imagery, symbolism, and tone. Writing assignments include analytical, argumentative, and expository essays analyzing and interpreting literary works in depth. It's a doozy. Here are related career areas. Copy editors, copywriters, curators, editors, education administrators and teachers, historians, judges, lawyers, librarians, reporters and correspondents, political scientists, public relations specialists, school psychologists, sociologists, technical writers, translators, and web designers. These are some related majors. Anthropology, classics, comparative literature, education, English, film studies, history, journalism, library and information science, linguistics, mass communication, philosophy, psychology, and theater arts. Here's what to expect in the course. The course is based on close reading and critical analysis, so expect lots of reading and writing. Lots and lots of it. You'll read texts from 16th to 21st century American and British literature, and your teacher will be required to incorporate fiction, drama, and poetry. You'll respond to literature with informal writing, which includes collaborative writing, response journals, and textual annotations, and formal writing, which includes expository, analytical, and argumentative essays. Here's why the course is so challenging. The sheer amount of reading and writing in AP literature and composition is difficult for many students. All texts are college level and students are held to college level standards in their writing as well. Students are expected to analyze literature at a much deeper level than they may have experienced previously. Here's more on the exam. This three hour exam is divided into two parts, multiple choice, which comprises 55 questions in an hour, and free response, which is three questions over two hours. The multiple choice section includes excerpts from drama, poetry, and prose fiction, and each excerpt is accompanied by a set of questions. The free response questions fall into the following three categories. A literary analysis of a given poem, a literary analysis of a given passage of prose fiction, which may include drama, an analysis examining a specific concept, issue, or element, and a literary work selected by the student. And there you have it guys, those are the hardest AP classes. AP courses offer many benefits, but they also require plenty of dedication and hard work. Don't let the difficulty deter you from taking AP courses, but do understand that success in these classes requires organization, time management, and quality study skills. Know that you can expect a heavier workload and plan your schedule accordingly. Select AP courses that reflect your skills, interests, 
and background knowledge. It's also a great idea to choose courses that relate to your intended college major and or career field. Hopefully those two things are related. I hope that the information in this video has answered your questions and will help you find the right AP courses for you. We have a lot more videos on the way, so stay tuned. If you liked what you saw, please press subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And look below this video. You'll see links to helpful guides on how to plan for and succeed in high school. Oh yeah, if you want me to wear a shirt from your organization, high school sports team, local charity, or something similar, feel free to send me one. I wear a size small to size medium. If you go to our website, our address is at the bottom of the page. Send your items there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. Now it's your turn. In the comments, tell me about what's bothering you in high school and tell me about any classes you might be having trouble with. Okay, everyone, good luck. I'll see you in the comments.